night to you. Thanks for spending part of this first Sunday morning of 2014 with us. And as we begin the new year, the University of Pittsburgh's Institute for Entrepreneurial Excellence prepares to say goodbye to its popular founder and executive director, Ann Dugan. Ann will be leaving her post as the Institute's executive director and as assistant dean at Pitt's Graduate School of Business. And for the last 20 years, the Institute has helped to start 800 new businesses, develop more than 1,400 management educational programs, and attract $300 million in client funding. Quite an achievement. Welcome back, Ann, to the show, and congratulations to you. You know, I think many of us in the community are very sorry to hear this news, that you're uh, stepping back from this uh, wonderful institute that you founded. But I guess you've decided the time is right. I have decided the time is right. It's one of those things that, you know, working with family and closely held businesses for years, you look at, okay, this is the time that they should really think about what's next in their own chapter and allow the other chapter to unfold. And I reached that point in 2013 and said, this is it. Well, you're way too young to retire. There's no doubt about that. So I'm sure that you're going to move on to other bigger and better things. And we'll, maybe we'll talk about that in a minute. But help our viewers to understand exactly what this is. Uh, Institute has done. It's really been a tremendous force here in Pittsburgh. Well, thank you for saying that, and I think it is. And I have to, I have to say that one of my greatest, you know, accomplishments or achievements are, are the stories that I hear when I walk down the street, when I'm at first night, you know, when I'm at a, at a restaurant, and someone will come up and say, you know, 15 years ago you helped me start my business, and today I have 50 employees, and you know, life is good, and we're doing all these wonderful things. So I, I would say that that's been, you know, a big part of the economy regionally. We don't really think about one industry over another or one type of business over another. It's been really the entrepreneur has been our focus and it's really turned out well. You know, I think a lot of folks think of employment coming from the big major corporations here in Pittsburgh, and we have a number of them and they're all quite good. But the fact is that small business still provides the bulk of jobs and your work in helping to create new small businesses in Pittsburgh has really been pretty phenomenal. When I think of those numbers we just read, um, I, it just it boggles the mind. Can you name every one of those companies you helped or entrepreneurs you helped? <laughs> I can name a lot of them, that's for sure, because they continue to, to remain with us and grow and develop. And what's really interesting to me now, as we're in 2013 and 2014, is the people that I met in 1988, 1987, you know, or 1997, that would say, I never expected my children to want to join my business that I started, but now they're out of college and they've had a little bit of their career and they're with me. So I get to see the next generation as well, which is really exciting. Well, let's tap into your expertise. What is the key to helping a entrepreneur really develop and implement an idea here in Pittsburgh? I think the real key is that, first of all, they have to be that entrepreneur, that this is not a, a get-rich-quick uh, scheme, that it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication to make that happen. So I think it's really understanding that they are that person that has that passion, drive, and energy to do what is needed to create and grow a business. Let, let me stop you right there, because what you're saying is that there are a lot of folks who come up with clever ideas and think that in a year we can make a million bucks. That's not what a true entrepreneur is all about. No, it's not. In fact, it, you know, the theory is that a true entrepreneur is, uh, has a combination of being an innovator, you know, having that cerebral, you know, intellect to really say, here's something that's really unique in the market that I could move forward with. And then the entrepreneur is the one that grabs it and runs with it and implements and puts the team together and understands the growth and really goes through the ups and downs. And there will be both. I, right. I, I assume that some of the companies and some of the people you helped over the last 20 years were not successful. You have to be prepared to fail too. You have to be, but I think one of the things that our organization has done really well is to jump on our learning curve. We will help you avoid those pitfalls that when you're in those young years of a company, you don't have deep cash. And so if you really make a big mistake, it can take you under. And so instead of going in those valleys, stay with us and jump on our learning curve and we'll make sure that you'll have those dips, but they won't be that deep. Do you have a favorite story? You know, a company that you have, I know there are many, many, but one that kind of just jumps out and says, this, I, I'm really proud of this one. Well, I, I would say
say there's too many to even go into what, you know, a two-hour show about, but I would say that one of the things that could continually, uh, continually excite me is to say, here's somebody who's went through, went through this, got over it, and has now really come back strong. So I would say that that perseverance and passion are really important parts. You know, you are so identified with this Institute for Entrepreneurial Excellence. I, 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 we can't imagine the place running without you. But your next task, and I think it's probably going to be your toughest task, is finding a replacement. Where are we in that? Well, we have, um, first of all, the, the provost of our university has really done an amazing job of putting together a new vision in terms of the Institute for Entrepreneurial Excellence working out of her office in conjunction with the Office of Technology Management. So that's a big first step. And the second step is putting together a search committee that happened in November of this year. And uh, they're hard at work. It's been posted to the university website. And we have a number of applications already. So I think the process is unfolding and, and doing well. Are you looking for more applicants if somebody watching this show would like to apply, or is that closed now? No, it's not closed. In fact, I, I'm not I'm not chairing the committee, so I'm not exactly sure when it will close. But uh, it's still open, and there's still opportunities for I, I I like to say I've never been to work one day in my life. I've enjoyed each and every day and the new challenges and the new opportunities in front of me, and I think that a big part of that has been you know just that excitement and passion of the entrepreneurial community. Well, I hope we can find someone who uh, maybe not fill your shoes completely, but uh, at least maybe three quarters of your shoes now. And, you know, we only have about 30 seconds, but I want to know what you're going to do next, because I know you're not going to just go off to some beach and lie on the beach. That's, that ain't Leah Dugan. No, 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 that would be impossible. I'm actually really, you know, focused on my succession, there's no question. But I think the second part of that is really to take the deep learning that I've had from, you know, Mount Lebanon, uh, Business District, South Point 1 and 2, the County Airport, Team Pennsylvania, and, um, and now the Intergovernmental Authority of the City of Pittsburgh and say that we can do better. And the whole passion and energy of the entrepreneurial community, bring it to the table to some of the new activities. Um, you know, one of my my visions, I would say, and my goals is that Harrisburg and West does not look the same as Harrisburg and East. So I'm going yeah. to be focusing on Harrisburg and West. Maybe a government position? Have you ever thought about that? No, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure I'm best for that, but I think as an entrepreneur, you can bring a lot of those aspects to the government table in, in conjunction with other activities in the community. Well, Ann Dugan, congratulations. It's been uh, really an honor and privilege to have you on our show from time to time, and we very much appreciate the great work you're doing. We're going to have you back because you're an expert in this community, and I know we're not saying goodbye. So stay, stay tuned. tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hey, when we return, a preview of.